Hi everyone. So here today we're in the Dordogne and today it's going to be me showing you around the property. Um, it's not a chateau that we're normally visiting but this is one of my favourites that I've seen on the website. Um, it's a really quirky house. It's not far from where I live in the Dordogne. It's surrounded by beautiful countryside but inside it's really quirky and it's got some amazing beautiful features. So let's go and have a look. So, as you can see in this room, as I was saying, it's a very quirky house. It's full of art. The owners are artists. They've done quite a lot of restoration. There's still some parts that can be done. Um, it was an original farmhouse. And what is lovely about this house is you will see amazingly beautiful, untouched fireplaces in nearly all of the rooms, especially in the, in the bedrooms. I mean, you can see it's full of craziness here. It's an artist's house and I absolutely love the style. So let's go through and have a look at some of the other rooms. I love the originality of these old farmhouses and the great thing is the rooms are so big and full of character. I mean look at the ceiling, we've got those amazing original beams, you've got a very old fireplace here and as the, the house sort of goes to the right hand side it gets older and older so when we go into the next room it's about three or four hundred years old. And if you come through here, there's an amazing ground floor bathroom. Beautifully tiled stone floors. So as we come into this room, again, one of the oldest fireplaces in the house, probably three or 400 years old, you'll see that there's another entrance door here. So this house could go into two parts. You could have that side as your main living accommodation. The current owners have this side as their living accommodation, but it can go either way. Um, there's also stairs in the main entrance that go up to two bedrooms. So there's a further two bedrooms as well. So it really lends itself to whatever size you want it to be. One big family home or two separate houses. It's got so much opportunity. And then this leads through into what they use as the Jeep kitchen. Leading out onto the lovely countryside again, some cows over there. Um, this probably was a barn or a lean-to at some stage. Um, again, but it's got lovely height ceilings, all handmade, the kitchen's all handmade. So in here we see a barn conversion that's been turned into an artist's studio and this is a fantastic space. The great thing about this area is it's full of musicians, it's full of artists um, because they're inspired by the beautiful countryside. Everywhere you look you've got beautiful light, you've got empty streets, you've got no light pollution, you've got no traffic. Um, now this room could be used as a big entertaining space, a party room or as the current artist has used it as a gallery and what a 
superb gallery. What else is interesting is these fabulous doors that actually came from Scotland and have been attached to the barn, so they look fab. you think about this property I'm always interested in hearing what you think so drop your comments below. Let's go and have a look at the outside. Coming out from the fabulous, fabulous artist studio we come out to some of the really gorgeous outside ground space. As you can see here you won't hear a pin drop, all you'll hear is the birds. You've got this beautiful countryside. So that was a beautiful, very simple house. If you're a purist, you'll love it because of all the lovely original features. Um, but location-wise, it is in a fantastic location. We've got Santelay, we've got Riberac. It's only just over an hour from the airport at Bergerac, so it's an easy drive. Um, the other thing is you could be having your morning coffee, looking at these views and, hey, let's go to the beach for the day. It's only about an hour and a half from Royan, so you can get to Royan quite easily as well. Um, so it's a great central location in the door doing where there's a lot of good towns around for visits if you've got guests and you're renting the jeep loads of places for them to go or they can just sit and have a cool glass of wine on a repero on the terrace over there and a little dunk in the plunge pool i mean it's just a perfect idyllic really pretty located farmhouse so if you'd like any more information on this fabulous little property, do check our website. The link will be here below. All of the details, room sizes, etc., more photographs, virtual tours um, will all be on our website. So do have a look at that. Get in contact with our local agent. We'll be happy to take you around the property, show you the area and give you a, a, you know, a special viewing so you can have a look at what it has to offer lots of opportunities here, lots of different things you can do. It lends itself to living it perfectly now, but there's lots of other changes you could make if you want to extend it further or, or change it completely. But a real little gem, a little quirky property in the heart of the Dodoy, and it's really, really nice. <laughs>